are finally here in Yokohama visiting Chinatown with my man, Ron on the go. Uh, Ron's got some things planned for us today. We got the Cup Noodle Museum, Ramen Museum. Uh, we're gonna go see the Gundam. I can't wait for that, I'm super excited. And uh, what else? Uh, Nissan headquarters. And right now we're in Chinatown. So uh, excited to share what we're gonna do with uh, today. And uh, let's get this started. get some food maybe I get to work a little bit on my Chinese but I'm hungry so excited to see what we can eat over here <laughs> oh what I see dim sum nice we got the shumai got the hagao oh I like me some sticky rice oh yeah this looks good I mean, there are just too many food options. I don't even know where to begin. Like, what do I eat? They all look so good. Get these are uh, after this. I'm gonna add some black vinegar to it, but this was only 750 yen. Let's see how good these are. Ron's gonna try one. I've never done this. Before. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh. Just careful, maybe. I don't know if there's juice in there. Oh, oh it's hot. Let's see how this is. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Add a little black vinegar to it. I love me some vinegar. <laughs> Alright, just got done with our first snack and it was pretty good. Uh, there's two different kinds. The you know the the green one was had some seafood in it. I think it was a little bit of shrimp. The other one was just straight up meat. Ron had that one. He said it wasn't bad. He said it wasn't bad. I'm surprised. I don't usually like eating things like right. that. He burned himself a little bit, but overall not bad. So we'll see if we can get other food, but we might move on to so but Chinatown is pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, this ship looks so cool. Old cruise ship, and right behind this, you can't see it yet. Sweet. Right behind this, you can't see it yet, but it's the Gundam, which we're gonna go make our way over to right now. There it is. Oh, so cool. Let's see how far we can zoom in on that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm sure it's gonna look so big once you get closer to it. There it is. Oh, it's so cool. So in about like 10-15 minutes, this will start moving. But oh my gosh, yeah. This was definitely one of the things I told Ron when you know going to Japan we had to go see. So I'm excited. Oh here's the schedule for the gun. Oh, you can see my panda ears, but uh, we're gonna watch The Awakening at 12.20, which is 11 minute and 45 second show. Super cool. And then uh, they have a half version right after that, so super excited. just watched the first show and let me tell you that was amazing definitely worth coming out here uh, prices aren't that bad either it's just uh, 1600 yen per person um, the next show is in about 10 minutes so we're gonna catch that too but um, there's a little gift shop over here maybe uh, maybe buy something maybe not I don't know I told Ron don't let me buy anything in there he said no promises. No promises. We'll I might see. buy something too. So okay, okay. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, very, very cool. You know what I was wondering is, do they still do this in the rain? Like if it's raining? That would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That, that would, would be pretty awesome. cool in the rain, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. I've never been over okay, here during Got it, got it. 
but yeah, uh, great show and uh, definitely worth making the way out here. The Gundam Base gift shop. My oh, man Ron on the go right there. Let's see if I can find something small enough so I can fit it in my suitcase. He's thinking about it. Are you going to carry this all day? I don't know, man, but I wasn't expecting the dock. This is so cool, but the box is so big. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty hefty uh, size. We'll see. I might have to throw some clothes away to make some room. I don't know, but <laughs> so cool. It happened, everyone. It's so cool. It's literally a display of that with the whole dock and you can like make them pose in different ways, but uh, 27.50 yen, which isn't bad. It's close to 20 bucks and uh, definitely worth it. I just got to figure out how to fit it in my uh, suitcase. <laughs> so we just saw this robot make that little one right there. It's got all the pieces over there and it's a robot. Putting together a robot, so cool. どうやってさ。Here's a 1 to 30 skill. This is so cool. I mean, the one we bought was 27.50 yen. I cannot even begin to imagine how much this would cost right here. That's awesome. All the parts to, uh, you know, the motors, how it communicates with uh, everything. A little inside piece. That's crazy. Got the spur gear, crankshaft, RV gear, pin, case, and shaft. It's cool. Got the lineup of the Gundams. Okay, you got the uh, RX 78 F00. This was the RX 78 Oh, this is so cool. I 
how tall is the Gundam? Uh, 18 meters. That is equal to the height of about 10 ordinary passenger cars stacked up, one on top of another. It is also equivalent to the height of about the sixth floor of a building. How much does the moving Gundam weigh? Uh, about 25 tons, a weight of about as much as 20 ordinary passenger cars, equivalent to the weight of about 350 adult men. When is the motor generating power? Always. It is always working to maintain the angle of the joints even when they are stopped in place. Similarly, in humans, the heart is always beating to pump blood to the muscles. When bending the arm, which joint does the work? The elbow. The moving Gundam can be bent can bend its arm using the motor and reducer in the elbow. In humans, the bicep muscle located between the shoulder and elbow is used to make the same movement. it up over here at the Gundam factory we got to see one more show with my man Ron on the go it's so cool I think I got to go stand over there and get one more photo but um, yeah that's it for us here today uh, had a lot of fun next stop cup noodle museum uh, the place where you can kind of make your own custom one I don't know I, I might have to make a couple make a few I don't, I'm, I'm gonna start running out of suitcase space we'll see uh, de decisions will be made but uh, definitely excited for that. So, but hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, this portion over here at the Gundam factory. All right, we are here at our next stop at the Cup Noodle Museum. Oh, this place you can make your own custom cup noodle. So definitely excited. I, you know, we'll see what kind of variations you can add to it. Um, hopefully, yeah, I don't know how many I'm gonna make, we'll see. But super excited to be here. Hope you guys enjoy uh, what we have to share. Right, over here we got the wall history of instant noodle and it all started with 1958. Oh man, this wall is massive. There's so much, so many different companies. Uh, this one's pretty uh, recognizable, but UFO, what? Definitely gonna see uh, not that, you know, not talking about these cup noodles, but I'm sure we'll see some ones that I do eat today. So many options. But this wall is massive, and it looks like that's the most recent over there. Kind of make a quick brief walk through. 1992? So over here at the 2000s, I found something that I do like to eat. today and it's like a udon type noodle uh, the brown things kind of like a bean curd or tofu thing kind of soaks up the soup uh, really good and uh, definitely one of my favorites you know what I'm seeing a lot of these UFO ones I've never tried one before now I feel like when I go to a Japanese market next time I'm gonna keep my eye out for it I gotta try one I still remember back in the day Sixth to eighth grade, but uh, me and my buddies would always go to uh, the library to go study, 
and then they had this store, like a donut shop, uh, right next door, and they were always selling cup noodles, always add some sriracha sauce to it, but uh, you know, nice little quick snack, brings back good memories of those days. Got the statue of the creator of the cup noodle. History over here. Here's an actual photo of him. Is this in space? Oh yeah, it is. NASA. That's cool. I'm guessing this is the one with all the space ramen noodles. That's pretty cool. Got this old house right here. Do not touch the experience. This must be where it all started. And we got Chef Ramen over here. Chef, <laughs> Chef Ron. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Here's that building we were just looking at.
also where the food is. So nice little view out here. here. You hungry? Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, Let's do it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go eat some ramen right now. We are on the fifth floor. I'm so hungry. Just kidding, not ramen, but it's pretty cool. It's like the world of noodles. We got all these different uh, noodles from different countries. Uh, to be honest with you, some of these I can't tell by the flag, but. Oh, actually, right here Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. We got South Korea, Italy, Kazakhstan. Interesting, but I don't know. We'll see what, what, what we get. Over here you get your meal ticket. Uh, you can choose with uh, just the noodles with the drink combo. They got juice, shaved ice. But I'm over here at Indonesia because I'm gonna get me some Migo Rang. Oh, I'm so excited. Get her ready. And here is the finished product. They did have a little bit of hot sauce, so I added some of that, but some freshly made migoreng. Let's see how it is. Oh, it looks so good. We got this big old cup noodle up here. We got the cup noodle gift shop right here. What is this? I can't tell what flavors those are, but you got a set of three. Uh, let's see. Yeah, doesn't really, can't really tell, but. I'm assuming these are like chips, crackers, other snacks. Oh, right here, there's a picture. The duck, or is this a duck or a chicken? It looks pretty cute though. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this chicken is pretty cute though. They got t-shirts, they got aprons, they got socks, towels. Oh, so cute. All right, everyone, we just wrapped it up at the Cup Noodle Museum, and uh, that was definitely a very fun experience. Uh, just seeing all the history of the Cup Noodles, all the ramen, and then we got to make our very own. And of course, we had to go to the top floor to go eat some noodles, and uh, that was really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out here at the Cup Noodle Museum, and on to the next stop. Oh, we got the Skyliner over here. Feels like I'm just at Hollywood Studios. We got the Landmark Tower over here. All right, everyone, we are here at the Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. Uh, we just finished up at the Cup Noodle, Ram uh, Cup Noodle Museum. And uh, definitely excited for this. We're gonna eat some more. Ooh, we gotta eat now. Oh yeah! <laughs> Check this out. Ooh, where is it? There it is. Ah, oh, so cool. Yeah, let's go uh, inside and check it out. Looks like ramen originated all the way back in 1488. It's got a lot of the history over here. Got some displays. Replica of Kumon Ramen. Oh, oh wow. The oldest ramen was in Nanking Soba and Hakodare. Birth of Ramen. Established in 1910 in Asakusa. Widely known as Japan's first ramen shop. Oh wow, original wallet around 1921, that definitely looks old. I don't know about you guys, but I love like museums, just learning about all the history of different things, especially if they have like actual artifacts, items from that time period. Over here, 1939, 1945, this is during World War II regulations. We got the Japanese government started to promote scrimping and saving in daily food, recommending just cooked rice and a pick plum for lunch. After the start of the Pacific War in 1941, food and sake were supplied under a rationing system. Wow, they even have black markets for ramen. Oh wow, yeah, see? 
got the police there. Okay, these look real. Notebook for life. Very cool. Hey, we just saw this guy. At the Cup Noodle Museum, Momofuku Ando. All right here, or origin of the world's first instant ramen, 1958. It literally goes all the way to 2015, but this is around when I was born, so let's see. The big tonkatsu ramen boom. Ooh, I love me some tonkatsu ramen. Savage sure of the world's first amusement park featuring food. It's crazy to think now you can get ramen at Disney parks too. Local ramen boom, ramen chef boom, tsukuman boom. Globalization of ramen. Michelin stars given to ramen shops in 2015. Japanese soba noodles. Tsuta. The future of ramen. We dream of a future where people all over the world are eating ramen. Until the day ramen is known throughout the world, we will continue to spread the word. Let's see, ramen bashi cup noodles special edition. That's cool. 1999. This is ramen Life. Oh, compact disc from 1980. Baby Star Treasure Box, 1975. Is that a Gundam right there? <laughs> if that's ramen, that's a big bag of ramen. Road to Making Ramen Museum. Greeting stands, oh wow, overseas Japan. That's some cup noodles, ramen, miso curry noodles from Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum original. Cup noodles, 1999. Tonkatsu curry noodles. Nice. I like these seats, this is like a big old fish cake. Over here we got a big old half egg. You got the ramen noodles over here. Oh, look at my panda ears. Okay, I can't read this, but very cool. They even got ramen shoes. Limited edition. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. The piglet mascots. What? Oh, these are the things where they uh, dry out the noodles mm -hmm. after cooking. Got a cool display of all these different types of ramens here. I mean, I can use this for my room. <laughs> can I get the recipes to be <laughs> <laughs> This is very cool. I mean, this is definitely like an older version, but I've seen a lot of different YouTube videos of like motorized vehicles that pretty much look the same like this. And it's a, a ramen shop and then uh, they're just cooking, making. They say, it's very cool. You see them set their station up you know, and then they go through their business and then they close up, put everything away. But this is very cool. Over here, you have the variations of the ramen. Uh, the following show the types of ramen that are generally found in Japan. However, there are no standardized classified methods. Ramen is generally classified according to the color of the soup. Soy sauce base, miso base, salt base, is that tonkatsu, thick chicken? I mean, I, I love soy sauce based miso. Uh, not too big of a fan. I don't really eat salt based too often. But yeah, tonkatsu, shoyu, all good miso. I love it. And of course, spicy miso. <laughs> Got all these different bowls over here. I like this display. Oh, that's a big bowl right there. I need that one. Doable, that's cool. All right, so we're downstairs now. I think we're gonna go eat, but check this out. Wow. I feel like we're at the Las Vegas of ramens. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, but I'm definitely hungry. And uh, let's go get some ramen. This is cool. It's literally like you're in the streets of Japan with all the different ramens. We got my man Ron on the go over there. 
So it looks like you order through this screen and go pick up a food. This looks so delicious. We got the miso tonkatsu. I added some chashu, got some butter and truffle oil. But let's dig into this. Itadakimasu. Ramen uh, from Ron, where he's got the salt and yep. pepper. Salt and pepper, or just salt? It's just salt. Salt, got yeah. it. Itadakimasu. I just started mixing it up and look at how good this is. Oh my gosh, I mean, I haven't even taken a bite yet, but it just looks so oishi. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, first bowl done. And let me tell you, that was some good ramen. That was some good ramen. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get some more. We're gonna get some more. We're gonna get some more. Uh, noodles were cooked perfectly. The so truffle good. oil. Oh it. my gosh, it was so good. Look, I don't like food. I'll, I'll eat here all the time. <laughs> all right, round two. All right, here is round two. Let's see how the noodles, oh, yeah, see, the noodles are the skinnier noodles, but look at how good that looks. Oh yeah, this is a tonkatsu as well, but different style noodles, not the same toppings, but super excited. Look at, oh, 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 oh so good. All right, everyone, we just finished round two. I uh, had to get another tonkatsu, ended up getting a small bowl, but we're going downstairs for round three. Round three? Round three, but uh, that was good. The noodles were definitely skinnier. Seemed like the soup base or broth was uh, a bit saltier uh, compared to the first place, but uh, overall, still delicious. Let's get bowl number three. But look at this layout, though. It's so cool. I don't know. Are we only gonna get one more bowl? Possibly two more? Three? I don't know. We'll see. But this is so cool. All looks so good. Oh this my is gosh. where we're going next. I'm getting hungry all over again. All right, it's time for round three. Got beer number two as well. I've never tried this one. Yabisu? Let's see how this is. I mean, the soup broth definitely looks different. Almost looks like a shoyu base. Oh yeah. All right, let's dig in. Hitarikimasu. All right, everyone. Round three, finished. I'm stuffed, I'm full, but everything was good. Totally worth it. Ron, are I, you? I love this place, but I hate myself right now. <laughs> Ron's a little full, I'm full. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss this place. This place was awesome. So many different options and like this one, I mean, I would say the first bowl was my favorite. Hands down, I'm glad I got the large bowl over there. Second place was good. This one, uh, I, I couldn't tell if there's ginger in there. I'm not a big kind of ginger. Uh, the soup base was definitely uh, the lightest. Uh, the first one was the thickest, but yeah, first place was the best. And uh, this place was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out over here at the Ramen Museum in uh, Shin Yokohama. All right, everyone, we are here in the ramen lab. So it's kind of like the cup noodle museum where we were just at, where we can actually make our own ramen, choose our own toppings. And the cool thing is, is that you can actually import a photo and use that as your lid. So over here, you got a lot of different options. Like right here, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Where, hold on, right here. There he is. Puppy. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to decide what I want to use as a photo. Maybe I'll use my dog. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, this is gonna be fun. So let's see what we make. All right, we just finished making <laughs> our <laughs> cup ramen. <laughs> and over here, uh, let's see. So I mean, you can choose different options. I got the red. I think I got the extra noodles. I got green onions. I forget what else, but. Uh, the cool thing is you get to pick your own lid and check this out, guys. Oh, what is that? Ron and Coda at Jollywood. So awesome. Let's check out Ron's. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. That was literally taking We literally just ago. took that over here at the museum, but I mean, 
five bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. But yeah. that was awesome. <laughs> Super cool. All right, so I mean, we're pretty much oh. full. We're, we're full. We're done here at the uh, Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. So hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us over here. Uh, definitely had a lot of fun. Ate a lot. And this place was amazing. I'm gonna miss this place. I mean, you can not not go to the gift shop, right? But uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with these little chickens or chicks, baby chicks, because uh, this was over here at the uh, Cup Noodle Museum. But over here, you got a bunch of different ramens you can buy. Over here, you can get some bowls, ramen bowls. You got the spoons. Oh, you got the spoon holder right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I actually got something like this at uh, Tokyo Central uh, back in Cali. Something similar for 99 cents. So that was a good deal. These might be like chopstick uh, to put your chopsticks on. Oh, that egg one. That's cool. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Chopsticks. Chopsticks, but look at this. This is cool. It's like a little ramen shop. Oh, look at that. Cool. Oh, how much? 35? 35, 20? So cool. Let's see. More spoons. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything in here, but if I were to, something like this would be definitely very cool. Oh, I got, what is that, like little Cokes? That is awesome. <laughs> Ron's doing it. <laughs> I said I was gonna do it last time I was here and I didn't, so now. He's getting this one, it's so cool though. And the cool thing about this, right, this setup, is that it's very, you know, it's very thin. You could easily pack this in your suitcase. That's pretty cool, like, look at that. Oh man, Ron's getting one. <laughs> All right, everyone, we just wrapped it up over here at the Ramen Museum and uh, definitely happy that Ron was, you know, took me over here because this place was amazing. Uh, a lot of history you can look at. Of course, the ramen that you can eat. Uh, the cool thing is, is that you can actually get a membership here for like 500 yen for six months. Yeah, for six months. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah, pretty much get the membership just to eat here, which is pretty uh, pretty amazing. Uh, also, too, you can make your own very cup ramen for 500 yen. That was awesome. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm full. We'll see what we do next. I mean, I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video here hanging out uh, at the Ramen Museum. And uh, we'll see where we go next. Got my man Ron on the go right here, and we are headed to the Nissan Global Headquarters. I remember watching one of Ron's old vlogs on this, and oh man, when he said we were going here, I was excited. So let's do this. No way, dude. Look are we about that. to see this in person oh, right now? Oh man, can't wait till we get closer. Dude, look at the front end on that thing. Wow. That's so cool. Let's get down there. Yep. Let's get closer. We got the new Concept GTR right here. And this looks dope. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Got the classic uh, Skyline tail lights. Look at that rear diffuser on the bottom. Man. It's almost like a natural white body kit too. Look at the wheels on this thing. That is crazy. Can you just imagine driving this on the road, dude? Dude, I can't imagine seeing it first. It almost looks like a Batmobile. <laughs> right. Alright, here comes the front end. Look at the emblem too. Emblem looks crazy. Also to the one middle windshield wiper. Oh, this is so cool. 
We got the Nismo section over here. Got oil filler cap, fuel filler cap. Ooh, what is this? Sports clutch kit, front LSD, engine mounts. We even got like Harmados. We got the Nismo wheels. It's our coilovers. Looks like coiler suspension kit and the titanium exhaust. So cool. Over here we got the R35 GTR. Man, this looks beautiful. Got the clad right. You can't go wrong with this classic tail light. An exhaust. Never really looked inside before, but looks cool. Yeah, I feel like one of these days I would love to like rent one of these and just drive them around town. But also what's cool about this, we're in Japan, so it is right hand drive. Um, looks like, uh, I don't know if they offer it in a full manual. Probably not, but that'd be amazing. Check out this front end too. Over here we got the Nissan 370. We got the Fair Lady Z. Oh, that's so cool. You don't see that over there in the in the States. But man, like I wish I could have a right-hand drive car. Ron has one. I'm so jealous. He's got that right hand right hand Honda. But this is so cool. Oh, it's got the Nismo too on the bumper. So cool. And you'll be able to, where's it at? I like see a transition between gears. It's cool though. Got the intercoolers right there. You can hear the parts moving on this side. Oh. This is the VR30 DDTT engine. What is that? Uh, 298 horsepower. See the little cap back here? Mm hmm. First? Right. Nice. That was picking up speed? Yeah. That's so cool. I have another Skyline over here, but this must be like the family edition. 400R, I mean, it still has like the classic tail light look. But this is definitely interesting. I mean, I'd still drive it. <laughs> Not sure what's going on here, but this looks cool. Oh, this has got to be an electric car for sure, right? That's the battery packs right there. Wow, look at the screen surround. I need one of these in my room. You can see the whole setup moving as well while I'm trying it. screens right <laughs> Oh man, this looks so fun. It's <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? <laughs> the Nissan, what is it, Hyper Punk. This looks pretty cool. Look at the wheels, got that triangle look. You can see Nissan on there as well. Guessing this is an electric car, but I mean, 
I drive this too. This, uh, both of these cars next to the GTR is like super futuristic. So only time will tell what we'll see on the road uh, in the future. Yeah, Nissan Hyper Punk. We have a 1964 Datsun baby. Look at how tiny this thing is. I feel like if I... an automobile for children in a park. Wow. I was about to say, if I lie down like next to it, I feel like I'd be just as tall as the car. That's pretty cool. Over here we got the 1965 Datsun Fair Lady 1500. And I mean for 19, what, 65, it is in pristine condition. Look at it, it's gotta be original paint, still shining. But this is so cool. Over here we got the 1968 Sunny 1000 Sports Deluxe Datsun. Man. Got the S13 Sylvia model right here. Dude, that's so cool. All right, can I just put that in my room? Look at that front end. All right, we just wrapped it up over here at the Nissan headquarters. And uh, let me tell you, that Nissan Concept GTR, that was so cool. And just seeing all the other cars, the older cars, the old Datsuns, the Fair Ladies, and of course the R35 was in there as well. But definitely very cool trip. But it was hot in there. It was hot, it was hot, it was hot, it was hot. It was hot. Melting, so uh, on to our next stop, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we do. All right, everyone, we actually wrapped it up after the Nissan Global Headquarters, but today was a lot of fun. We got to visit Chinatown. We got to go see the Gundam factory, made our own cup noodle, made our own cup ramen. And yeah, today was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. And tomorrow we got a lot more fun planned. We're gonna go to Tokyo Disney Sea. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on our next exploration.